Last week, a small asteroid made a meter long was about uh, was spotted heading towards Earth just before it entered the atmosphere over the southwestern Pacific near the Philippines. It didn't cause any damage on the ground, but it does beg the question of how often this phenomenon occurs. To speak more about this, we can bring in France 24's Julia Seeger. Julia, great to see you. So talk us through what exactly happened. So last Wednesday, indeed, the European Space Agency just casually tweeted that they had spotted this uh, one-meter-long asteroid and that it was set to enter the Earth atmosphere about 5.08 p.m. Uh, local time over the Philippines, and they went on to say that it was there was nothing to fear because this asteroid was harmless. And indeed, throughout the day, ESA was able to predict more and more precisely the path of impact, um, and the predictions actually proved to be correct. And the asteroid was renamed 2024 RW1, and it did enter the atmosphere at a speed of 72,000 kilometers per hour. So of course, what people saw and many onlookers were able to capture this moment uh, is a huge ball of fire. This is actually what happens when an object from space enters the atmosphere. It's called atmospheric uh, disintegration. Now, of course, a lot of internet users also wondered whether they should be worried about the fact that this asteroid was detected so late, meaning just hours before impact. Mm. And ESA actually uh, answered to that and said, actually, it's great news. It's only the ninth time in history that we were able to accurately predict an asteroid's trajectory. And this is just a sign of how much surveillance technologies for what we call planetary protection, planetary defense, mm. is uh, is increasing. Now, I'm saying planetary defense, of course, it sounds like men in black, right? But it's actually a thing. Planetary defense is everything having to do with protecting the Earth from outer space threats. Uh, and what is the probability of an asteroid at actually hitting Earth? Well, first of all, an asteroid is uh, a remnant of uh, a remnant of the formation of the solar system. There are about a million of them, even more. But the good news is that they tend to orbit on what we call an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, as you can see here. And they tend to uh, stay on that course because of the gravitational forces of the planets. But sometimes, of course, they can veer off course, and that includes going towards Earth. Now, there are, you know, they range in size, but larger asteroids, those who interest us and could actually impact Earth and create a lot of chaos, well, they tend to strike only once uh, every century, mm. whereas smaller asteroids tend to enter the atmosphere two to three times a year. Now, of course, the question is, why is it that bigger asteroids tend to not hit the Earth as often? Well, it's a statistical reason because there are less of them. Uh, and the second reason is because big asteroids have a bigger mass, so they tend to be more influenced by the gravitational force and hence stay on that track. Now, it's important to say to our viewers so that uh, they, you know, so that uh, we can reassure them, we tend to detect much more large larger asteroids because they're bigger, mm. but also because they're much brighter. And why is it so difficult to predict uh, the trajectory of such asteroids? Well, it is indeed very hard to predict. And the reason why, there are many reasons, but one of them is the fact that we have a lot of blind spots. Mm. First of all, there's what we call the solar glare. So if the object is coming towards us as in, in the path of the sun, we can't see it because of the glare. And our telescopes are also limited uh, because of the rotation of the Earth and the night-day cycle. But that said, early warning systems are improving. We have what we call detection uh, deflection systems. And I don't know if you remember this, but we actually spoke about it here on France 24. In 2022, uh, there was the DART mission where they were able to successfully uh, redirect uh, um, an asteroid. So what they did is that they smashed a device, as you can see here, on an asteroid, and they were able to uh, deflect the trajectory. But the problem is, and it was really seen as a huge success, this was an exercise, right? This was not, the asteroid wasn't a threat towards Earth. But the problem is, just a couple of days ago, they uh, published this report saying that all of the debris that was caused by the impact may be coming back towards Earth. So this does beg the question of whether or not we know what we're doing with this deflection technology. And, uh, you know, we have to be careful to not worsen the situation. We may have created, in this case, the first man-made meteor shower. So if we go through, experience a sort of Armageddon situation, we're to blame. Uh, Julia, thank you very much. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of information there. Julia Seeker, thanks.